because it delivers for our economy, it's good for New Zealanders, and this government will continue to fight for the rights of New Zealanders to, for greater fairness overseas every day that we're in office. Thank you. Mr Speaker. Oh, Stuart Nash. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, the Deputy Prime Minister stood up and said, let me tell you about National's announcements versus Labor's announcements. Well, she didn't actually mention many at all because she talked about John Key the whole time. But let me actually put a little bit of reality into this situation, just in my portfolio area, to highlight Labor's police announcements and National's police announcements Hello. and how this has paid out. How and what it does out? is it is a fundamental illustration of Andrew Little's leadership versus Bill English's following. Now, let's get, let me give you a little bit of history on this, a little bit of a timeline. On the 27th of May 2016, the police minister signed off on the police's four-year strategic plan that said no more police until at least 2020. A week later, a week later, Andrew Little showed leadership and said this is not acceptable and started going hard on this folly. A week after that, second week of June, the minister announced she's working on a plan for more police. It only took a week for Andrew Little to go hard on this before the minister said, shivers, maybe there is something in this. Maybe there's something in this. October last year, October last year, Andrew Little released Labour's police policy, which said a thousand more sworn officers in three years into the communities of New Zealand, because we understood the severity of this problem. Still, National's policy, no more police for four years. A mere six months after that utterance, the first policy that National released for the 2017 general election was more police, was more police. Now that was, that's good to see, but what happened here is Andrew showed leadership, was listening to the community and came out with a policy. Six months after National said no more police, Bill English announced more police. That is not leadership, that is following. It's a classic case of following, Mr Speaker. It's a classic case of following. It's a classic case of following. And the reason for this, Mr Speaker, the reason for this is at the moment, though, at the moment we've got dairy owners that are talking about arming themselves. We've got 50 youths in Manurewa fighting in public and knocking each other out with knives and batons and clubs. We've got youths in Kaikoui going hard and smashing up a petrol station. Mr Speaker, what we have got here is a very committed bunch of men and women in the police force, but a police force that has been underfunded now for five years. It is not sustainable. And the minister believes, the police minister believes, just because she has made an announcement of 880 more police, that that's good enough. Well, Mr Speaker, it isn't. The mayors of regional and provincial New Zealand held a conference last week. And the biggest issue that they said were facing their towns and their cities is law and order and an increase in crime. Now, Mr Speaker, this is not the fault of the good, hard-working men and women on the front line. They have said that they are committed to New Zealand police, but over 50 per cent of them said they're not delivering on the promises made. What they need is more police on the front line. What we need to know, what those mayors need to know, and what the people of New Zealand need to know is, well, what is the plan? Where are they going? We have made a commitment that a decent chunk of our thousand more police are going into community policing. We need men and women on the front line keeping our dairy owners safe, keeping the burglars out of our houses, solving crime, working with key stakeholders in our communities. What we're seeing in Hawke's Bay and in Napier, Mr Speaker, is the community cops stretched even further. We're seeing burglaries increase by 22%. We're seeing P at epidemic proportions, and the police just haven't the numbers. And the minister has the nerve to stand up and say, well, we've got this policy, 880 more over four years. Well, Mr Speaker, it's not good enough. We now want to know what the plan is. Where are these officers going to go? Are they going to go into our regions? What is the minister going to say to the provincial and the regional mayors when they say, we're at our wit's end. We should not have to employ private security guards to keep our community safe. But that is what is happening. So, Mr Speaker, this is a classic policy announcement 
where Andrew Little showed absolute leadership. He showed that he had listened to our communities and he came out with a well cost or completely costed police policy. And what did Bill English do? He followed. That does not contra that contrasts to the extreme. A leader versus a follower. Andrew Little as a Prime Minister and Bill English as someone who can't even come up with an original idea of his own. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker. The Honourable <coughs> Alfred Narvin. Mr. Speaker.